everyone! So in this channel we want to make simple things sexy and today we're going to talk about glass jars. So to give a new life to my jars I usually have a secret weapon. Ta -da! <laughs> it's a label. <laughs> A labeler? What makes the video better? It's a label machine! <laughs> I have to warn you, it's kind of addicted. After you buy it, you want to label everything. But it's kind of fun. I reuse my glass jars and it doesn't matter if they have different sizes because you can just fill it up as you want but I use it for nuts and seeds to teas everything basically that you like and zero waste so you can just buy things in bulk and just keep things in a cupboard you can buy in the big things or even in stores that they don't use any waste and also I use it to get my snacks in the airport or to fill my granola with it one of the biggest things you can do to improve your cooking skills is to use fresh herbs and spices. And also in the fridge, I leave my fresh herbs in water so they last longer. And I even use it to peel garlic. So how do you peel garlic with a glass jar? That's the big question. <laughs> so I love garlic and I never use just one glove. But what I don't love is the smell in the hands. One way I learned to reduce that is to cut off the garlic and put it in the glass jar. One of the biggest thing is when you cut it is both hands to be cut off and put it in the glass jar with a splash of water and shake it baby! The garlic will be nude. <laughs> If you still feel the smell, rub your hands in inox. I use my knife, but I don't rub. Otherwise the plate wouldn't be plant-based. <laughs> do you already reuse your glass jars? Do you have any favorite way to do it that I didn't mention here? Let me know in the comments below and see you in my next video. Bye. Rub them in anything that's inox. I just use my knife. <laughs> <laughs> I usually just use my knife. I usually just use my knife. But <laughs>